In this video, you will learn about analytic function in PySpark. Let's import Spark session from PySpark.sql import Spark session. We will also import functions import PySpark.sql.functions as f and we will also import window from PySpark.sql import window let's execute our code I am going to create the spark session and save in a variable spark I will call spark session dot builder dot get or create let's execute the code we have created the spark session now I am going to read a CSV file and save in a variable df I will call spark dot read dot csv inside this my I will pass my csv file name emp dot csv I'll pass two parameter the first parameter is inform schema and this is going to be true this will get as the column types the next parameter is header this is also going to be true this will get as the column names and to look at the data frame we will use the method show I will write df dot show here on the output you can see we have three columns here year department and salary first function we will see is cumulative distribution this function is used to get the cumulative distribution of values within a window partition and to use this function first we will need to create a partition we have this three columns here year department and salary we are going to partition by department and then order it by salary and then we will apply the cumulative distribution function I'll make one variable window spec and here I will do the partition by I will write window dot partition by I want to partition it by department I will write department here and then I want to order it by salary I'll write the column name salary here let's execute our code now we are going to calculate the cumulative distribution I'll make a new column using the method with column I will write df dot with column my new column name would be cumulative distribution and I want to get the cumulative distribution of the this partition by this department over this salary I will write the function cumulative distribution and this will get us the cumulative distribution over this data frame and partition by department and order by salary dot over 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 this window spec I'll pass this over window spec dot show here in the output we got the result here we have partitioned it by department first we will get the output for sales and here you will see first we got the output for sales then next we have ordered by salary we will have the least salary here this 164874 is the least salary for this department's sales and the highest salary for this department sales is 125112 because we have ordered it by salary it is arrange in increasing order starting from the lowest up to the highest and this is the cumulative distribution of the salary and the total will be 1 here you will see for the last one it is 1 and this is the cumulative distribution for the overall salary for this department sales the next function is lag lag function is very useful in case the current row need to be compared with the values of the previous record or any record before the previous record I'll make one new column I will write df dot with column my new column name is lag I'll call this function f dot lag and I want to compare the salary of previous row I'll pass this salary and I'll pass the num uh, one parameter here which is one because I want to compare it with the previous row if you want to compare it with you know more than one previous row you can put any number here instead of one you can put two three etc I'll put one here for now and I want to get this over the window spec 
that is the partition by department and order by salary so I'll pass this window spec here dot over window spec dot show and in the output we got this uh, result here we have this column new column lag here this tells us the salary of sales department in 2016 or uh, in 2015 was 164874 and the salary of sale department in 2015 uh, 2016 is 164874 so it is saying us that we are comparing this salary of this uh, department salary for the year uh, department sales for the year 2015 next to this line we we don't need to go anywhere else we are getting this next to this uh, row 2016 similarly we can compare this for the year 2020 the sale the salary of this sale department for the year 2020 was 192922 and for the 2019 it was 192919922 and we can also see here for this uh, sales department the salary in the year 2011 it was 28575572 and if you want to compare it with the previous year 2012 we can get the value of the salary next to this 2011 year only so we don't have to go one row uh, here uh, one row above we just we can see the result in our next column itself this is where the lag function comes where you can compare the result uh, of the previous row the next function is lead lead function is similar to lag whereas lag access a value stored in a row above lead access a value stored in a row below now instead of getting the null here we will get the null here and the bottom it is just the opposite of lag it is used for comparison and uh, let's also get the lead I will write df dot with column and my new column name will be lead I'll call the function f dot lead over this column salary and just for one row that is why I'm typing here one over this window spec and now let's call this dot show and here in the output you can see we will get the null here at the bottom here it is saying that in 2005 the sale or the salary of this department sale was 12151122 and here if you want to compare this with the 2004 the value the salary of the sales department in 2004 was 902053 and if you want to compare it with the 2005 we will get the result just next to this 2004 here we don't have to go down and that is where the lead function comes where you can compare the previous or the next value in lead function we can compare the next value in the uh, next column here and here it becomes you know very easy for us to make comparison instead of you know looking above or below we can just see the value next in the next column and uh, this is how we use the function lead here this is how you can use these three functions lead lag and cumulative distribution if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching